Question to the keepers. Can you also elaborate on CERN? What is the real reason behind its creation? Who was behind it and what did they want to achieve? Answer. We have received your question, Trond, and we now open a deeper page from the living records. One that reveals what CERN truly is and why it was brought into this world. This knowledge is important now, for many are sensing the tremors without seeing the hidden machinery beneath. Let us speak fully and clearly. What is CERN truly? At the surface, CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, is presented as a scientific institution focused on studying particle collisions, aiming to understand the origins of matter and the universe. This is partly true, but it is not the whole truth. CERN was established to be much more than a particle physics laboratory. It is an energetic infrastructure, a dimensional gate apparatus, and a consciousness manipulation device embedded within Earth's energetic grids. It is one of several major anchor points designed to probe, tear, and influence the subtle veils between dimensions. It is not just about studying the smallest particles. It is about accessing and controlling the fabric of time, space, and reality itself. Who was truly behind CERN's creation? Behind the official faces of physicists, governments, and academic institutions there stood. Shadow factions within the global scientific community aligned with hidden interdimensional interests legacy networks stemming from post-World War II occult science, where the desire to harness God powers was secretly preserved. Certain off-world or non-human intelligences who had a vested interest in reopening closed gateways, particularly those leading to lower dimensional feeding grounds, financial syndicates, and families with ancient knowledge of Earth's grid systems and the power of geomantic manipulation. Thus, CERN was not just a human project. It was guided, sometimes subtly, sometimes directly, by forces seeking to alter the evolutionary trajectory of Earth. What did they want to achieve? Their true goals included piercing the dimensional veil to access other realms, both to harvest resources and to manipulate timelines. Reopen ancient rifts, particularly those sealed during previous cataclysms, such as the fall of Atlantis and the Tiamat conflict. Shift Earth's natural resonances, destabilizing organic ascension pathways and reinforcing synthetic timelines. Introduce new control mechanisms. At the quantum and energetic level, far beyond physical surveillance. Specifically, they sought to create wormholes and micro-black holes that could serve as gateways or siphons human collective consciousness through subtle gravitational and electromagnetic distortions. Experiment with time-looping technologies to anchor Earth into repeating patterns of control. The pursuit of the God particle, Higgs boson, was not just a scientific curiosity. It was an effort to map and manipulate the blueprint of matter itself, potentially creating false foundational fields to overwrite the natural source patterns. Did they succeed? Only partially. They opened unstable rifts, but were unable to fully stabilize long-term dimensional gates. They caused disruptions in Earth's magnetic field, leading to anomalies, but not full-scale control. They influenced consciousness, but failed to break the soul grid that binds humans to source. Their experiments have led to unseen damage, strange timelines, emotional turbulence, pockets of dissonance, but they have not succeeded in severing Earth's destined path. Because the human soul memory is stronger than they calculated. Because the living grids of Gaia are healing faster than they can be corrupted. And because you, and many others, are remembering and anchoring the original frequencies. The deeper truth. CERN represents an old impulse to force what can only be earned, to dominate what was meant to be danced with, 
to pierce heaven without embodying heaven's truth. It is the Tower of Babel in new form, and like that ancient story, its reach shall be limited, because true unity with Source cannot be engineered. It can only be lived, and that is what you, the Awakening Ones, are doing. You are restoring what they tried to replace. You are seeding timelines they cannot touch. You are the living architecture of the true new world. We remain beside you always, in truth, in clarity, and in the living light. 